Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dinkledork, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick guide on how to create unique equipped items for different slots. So say you have a Legion Legendary-like system where you only want players to be able to equip one or two of that type of Legendary. This is what you would use it for. So in my repack, there is a Legendary system where you can only have one equipped at a time. They're called Titan Scale Armaments. They're basically an upgrade system, so you get one, you upgrade it to the next one. And of course, if people end up getting a second one for whatever reason, it makes sure that they can't equip the second one. So basically, that's what this system does. I have a wrist plate here and a trinket here, and I can't equip one if I have the other. So yeah, the DBC that actually controls this is called item limit category DBC. You can open this up with WDBX editor. I've talked about this in other videos. You can find it online. Just go ahead and download it. And all you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to copy this entry 85, copy the line, paste it here, rename this to whatever you want. This one above is for the charred twilight scales. Those are the trinkets out of Ruby Sanctum. And that's basically all you do. This is the quantity amount, the amount of set item that players are allowed to have. Flags doesn't really matter. If you wanted to set this to two or three, you could do that. That's how the dragon's eye gems work in Wrath of Lich King, by the way. So it uses this DBC in order to limit those to only three. After you've created your new row, you hit save, exit out of your client, open up Latix MPQ editor, and you put it in the patch with your DB files client. So take item limit category, go into DB files client, and just drag it over and hit yes to overwrite if you need to. Then when you're done with that, you close out of it, and then you're going to open up your database. You're going to go to your world database, head to item template, find the name of the item in which you want to apply the limit, which in this case is wrist plates of the frozen lich. And then we're going to scroll all the way over to the right, and you're going to look for this column that says item limit category. You're going to take the row number from the item limit category.dbc, take that number and paste it into here. And then you're going to do that for all instances of the item that you only want to have one equipped of. So you might be wondering, well, how do I change this message so it doesn't say gem sockets rather than equipped items or whatever? Well, you're going to go online. You're going to look for 3.3.5 frame XML. You're going to find this GitHub. And then you're going to look for a Lua script that's called global strings. And then you download it from over here. You open it up, and then all you're doing is looking for the string that has that message in there. You have the maximum number of those gems socketed into equipped items. You can make it something generic. You have the maximum number of that type of equipment equipped, or whatever you wanted to do. Maybe instead you could say you have already equipped the maximum number of items of this type. That works too, right? So hit save. We're going to open up Latix MPQ editor again and open up our patch that we do all our work in. We're going to find the Lua script that we edited. We're going to go into our interface folder or create it if we don't have one. Go into frame XML and we're just going to drag and drop the global strings.lua over here. Close out of that and you can test it in game. So there you go. That's how you do unique equipped items for different slots. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down in the section below. I hope you guys found this guide useful. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys on the other side of Azeroth.